Yo, what is going on guys here? My name is Xbox Rain, and today we got for you the top five worst types of Clash of Clans players. These players are either players who cannot do a raid well or just make up excuses. This is not the top five most annoying or top five idiots of Clash of Clans. These are just players who are bad at the game. You cannot blame them, you cannot get mad at them, well you can get mad at them, and you cannot kick them for this reason. Or you can, but I, 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 I'm not going to give you my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and review each and every one of these types of players. If you guys would like to go ahead and put in the comment section down below one thing for me. This is going to be the comment section game of the day. This is what I want. Tell me one story about Clash of Clans or an experience you had with these types of players. Whether it be someone failed a raid and it just made you so mad. Vent in the comment section down below. Please vent for me babies. Go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and get started and enjoy the video. Guys, so for our first player, it is the global player. We all know these type of guys and we all know to stay away from this type of chat. This is this almost limbo in this place called global chat. It's kind of weird. Kind of scares me a little bit. But global chat is this place where you get a ton of noobs who go ahead and say, you know, I want all these requirements. You know, you have to be level 75 plus. Always three star, never lose a raid, undefeated base, and just perfect in every way when they in fact aren't level 75, cannot three star, don't have an undefeated base, and just plain out suck. So you go ahead and you recruit these guys from Global Chat and they just don't turn out well at all. They end up leaving your clan, hopping to another clan, getting all your troops, have terrible types of donations, and just overall, the global scene is very, very messed up. On, we have the AFK player. Now, the AFK player is the guy that tends to go away from the computer at the worst possible time, or away from the device at the worst possible time. What happens is maybe you need a troop, a dragon, a raid to happen at a certain time, and they don't show. The old no-showers. These guys are tend to be the guys who really make you they make you so mad at every single gaping time. Words cannot describe how much I hate this type of player. Words cannot describe how much I am this type of player. Words cannot describe I just want to say it one more time guys, but seriously, this type of player is just the most inconveniencing type of player, and usually they tend to be actually really, really good players, they just don't get on at the right times. Moving on to the next one, this is the crossover player. This is the guy who plays Call of Duty, Minecraft, um, Friday Nights at Freddy's, just all those types of games. Oh, and don't forget the GTA player. They all try to play Clash of Clans and act like they are a pro at the game. And in fact, they just, it's, it's not good. They'll either buy an account, they'll gem the crap out of their bases, and they'll act like, you know, Clash of Clans is such an easy game, bro. Like, I got this in the bag. I can, t I can three star all kinds of Town Hall level sixes. I mean, if if I can town hall, if I can destroy this town hall, obviously town hall 10, 11, and 12, according to a lot of people, is um, easy, just really easy. I get that all the time, guys. Crossover players who think they can play this game like they're pros. This next category is a jumble of pretty much every type of player you can think of, whether it be the gemmer, the bad donator, the idiot trying to find a girlfriend, the attempted hacker. All these guys I just call noobs. This one has to be the most annoying type of player and this is the overconfident player and they are so bad at the game just for the fact that they can convince you that they are good at the game. They'll, they'll say something they'll say something like I can three star this guy so easy. They don't do it and then somehow you're convinced that you were the wrong person and they were right. I just don't know. They blow my mind like Mine equals blown. I just don't know how it happens. But overall, these types of guys are really actually bad at the game. They, they tend to judge you for not being very good and judge them, everyone else, blame everyone else for their mistakes, even though they were the ones who failed the raid. For this type of people, we all know them, we all hate them, and we are them. This is the Clash of Clans YouTuber. 
Every Clash of Clans YouTuber is the worst raider possible. In the eyes of the comment section, we all suck at everything in life in Clash of Clans. Now this isn't me defending myself because I suck at raiding. I'm really bad at raiding guys and I can, I'm willing to admit that, that I am not the greatest raider in the world. Now I can give good tips, that's why they say those who cannot do teach, that's kind of like me. But guys like Galadon, I think he's pretty good. Um, Chief Pat, I think he's pretty good at raiding. Um, there's Brandon, there's a lot of really good Clash of Clans YouTubers out there, but we are taken for granted. I guess because we're under a spotlight and you can analyze every little thing we can do, but to us, uh, and this is probably the worst, everyone thinks that Clash of Clans YouTubers are the worst type of Clash of Clans players. Hey guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you could please leave a like, that would definitely be appreciated. Comment down below if you've had any experience with any of these types of players. I'd definitely like to hear it and see your stories because I do read your comments. Trust me, I do. So that's pretty much it guys. Once again, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.